I don't know if you can see it on video, but <laughs> boy, is it green. And we're rolling again on the last 200 acre field of canola. It's finally ripe enough. It stopped raining. Things are flowing very nicely from the header right into the combine. Watching our gearing off monitor. Welcome back to another video. We can see Connor in the versatile Delta track and he is moving the grain cart because yes, we are still combining. <laughs> it is October 5th today of 2023 and we are on our last 200 acre field of canola that we can see behind us. And I think it's about time we can get back into the field. So we, got to this field and we cut this headland about two weeks ago and it was still way too green of course the stalks and it was green stubble and green stemmed canola but even the canola still had some green in it our green count was higher than it should be and we also had uh, our moisture was testing 13.2 so we had to wait the elevator said no more and what do you know after a few days where it maybe was ready to go we started to see rain and that rain never really stopped it kept drizzling on and off so here we are two weeks later we should be able to get back in the field it looks like we have okay forecast so connor's getting the green cart bring it over towards the combine. We are gonna go and do a sample and hopefully, hopefully get in and finish up the last 200 acres. We can see the Fent combine, this 40 foot gearing off header. We have it started, sitting there warming up. We're gonna park my truck and it is too windy to get much video outside. So if I am, bear with that sound. Checking our engine temperature. Go to high idle a little bit. Hopefully get a little warmer before we start. I don't know if you can see it on video, but <laughs> boy, is it green. Of course, my thing you can't really see behind it, but it's coming in the hopper actually pretty nice. Just the stalks are nice and green. So in the hopper here, we can see we got some green stems and gross stuff, but the canola actually looks pretty good. It's big, it's not little fine ground pepper. It's a nice size bit of canola, really nice and not really many green ones in there. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're good to go. Connor might keep rolling because it was saying 7.3 on the monitor. And I'm gonna take off to the elevator and see what we can do. Well, we got a little too excited. I was looking at the moisture average, not the instant average for moisture turns out we are a little bit tough yet we were testing 12.7 but that's all right hopefully this sun stays out for a little bit and wind stays up and then we can start combining again tomorrow so we will try it then Look at 
This is now two days later. We're combining and we can see we're testing about that 7.2 for our moisture. And this Gearinghoff header and this ideal combine are doing a great job. It feels nice to be back in the combine and rolling. We won't be able to go too terribly late because it is supposed to get fairly cool here tonight. And I don't want to put much wet grain into the bin. So we're gonna chip away a little bit, fill up the grain cart, and then call it a night and hopefully get back to this field a little bit more. But while I'm behind the wheel, of a combine once again, feeling good. I really realize how much I miss being the combine operator and how much I'm gonna miss harvest. As much as I am excited for harvest to be done and this last 200 acres has been eating away at me, I really enjoy it and operating these machines and just the whole nature of it, how peaceful it is outside, especially late nights like these. I am really going to miss this. But we can see this canola crop actually looks pretty good. It's nice and dusty because we have a main grid road running right there. So this is not just dust from the crop. This is actually gravel dust from the road. Things are flowing very nicely from the header right into the combine. Watching our gearing off monitor. Just look how beautifully this header feeds this in especially having no reel right in your face there, no split right there with this triple span reel, wow. I just need to get a combine with no steering wheel now. Look how dusty it is out as well. Just finishing up for the night we're gonna cycle to this screen I'm gonna press my park button we're gonna watch our wheels everything sucks up and goes into the rigid once that goes off flip my header off we can see our wheels on our gearing off are now sucked up and I can have it all parked nice and tidy for the night And well, that is going to be it for today's video. We have the versatile all loaded up and we can see that ideal with the gearing off, all the lights on. It's sitting there cooling down. I was trying to get my blower started up so I could blow this header off, all that dust on the back, blow off the combine. You can't even see out that window really. But of course, my luck, <laughs> my leaf blower is not starting. So anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button down below and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.